Hello everyone, my name is Martin and in today's video I want to talk about Dutch and Bern retouching. I believe there is still not that many information on YouTube about this subject, so I believe this video might be really helpful to you. I want to show you how to work uh, quickly with dodging and burning, give you some basic information, how you can see uh, your spots a little bit better and how to dodge and burn uh, softly, non-destructively uh, to not get any color shifts. So this will be the quick video. If you will be interested in a little bit more of the information, make sure you will check my premium courses on Skillshare or uh, Udemy on professional beauty uh, retouching where there's really a lot of information about Dutch and burn, about cleaning up, about many other techniques, about color grading and what's best, you get a lot of resources within the courses and also if you want to see my work I want to invite you to my website so make sure you're gonna check the links in the description and now we are going to start from the very beginning. So what is Dutch and burn retouching? Simply speaking it's painting with light because when you look at the portrait, uh, you can clean this up. I actually did a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, there is still a lot of imperfections and you have some shadows here, um, some weird shadows over here. And we need to remove that, but such a details are very difficult to remove. And the one way to clean this non-destructively is working with lights. So let me show you how I do this. I'm going to zoom this image a little bit more. And first of all, uh, we need to use curve adjustment layer, which is the best tool for uh, dodging and burning because it allows you to brighten the image in really uh, natural way. So of course that was level, so I'm going with curves. So we need to brighten up some spots. So I'm grabbing the curve adjustment layer, going up with this, not too much. It need to be soft to not leave any uh, color marks. So this layer I'm going to name Dutch and then I'm going to create another layer that will be burn. So I'm going to name this burn and of course opposite to previous one, this one I'm going to darken a little bit. So we brighten two layers and of course it's not correct yet because we have to hide them. What we want to do, we want to actually have full control and on this layer masks, we want to be able to paint with our light. To do this, we first have to invert the layer masks. So I'm pressing Command or Control and I to invert the Dutch adjustment layer. And then the same Command or Control and I to invert burn adjustment layer. And to bring back the color effect, of course, we'll have to use the brush uh, that will be actually color white. So let me show you an example. Painting with white color brush on this adjustment layer. Um, I can press, press Alt or Option. That's how it looks. It's bringing back the effect that is on this adjustment layer. So I hope everything is clear uh, so far. I know we go a little bit fast, but um, it's YouTube. So um, Let's adjust our brush. First of all, you want to work with soft uh, dodge and burn brush and you need a retouching tablet to actually do your dodging and burn in the right way. It's quite an impossible to do this with the mouse. So best uh, try to create your own uh, brush or go to settings and just adjust this as much as you can to get the soft brush. Uh, the brush is also provided within my courses, so you will not have to waste so much time. Now, as our layers are prepared, we can't really see very well what to retouch. Uh, the best way is to go to hue saturation, take down the saturation to maximum minus 100, change the blending mode from normal to color, because you want to preserve all the luminosity values. Then I'm going to increase some contrasts, so I can go with curves for that. I'm going to darken this image, maybe till this level, add some contrast a little bit more here. Uh, we can duplicate this as well for more visible effect, maybe like this. I can see everything very clearly now. Then I'm going back to my Dutch layer, 
soft brush flow i'm going to change to five percent and now i'm trying to retouch this image a little bit more by painting with the light so let's start somewhere here zoom in not too close because you want to see all of the image also you don't want to make the brush that is too slow first of all it will be disappearing it's not comfortable to work with and second of all you don't want to overdo the image so you keep the size that is actually visible you see the brush um, that's the comfort and then i'm painting around this darker areas of the image i'm not to explain you clearly what i'm doing right now with my pen i'm not very pressing very strong i'm actually barely touching my tablet so this this movement uh, this very soft painting is uh, crucial for good work before after and i don't want to do more than that as you can see very simple uh, workflow a little bit here also very soft and going over all of these uh, spots that should be brighter a little bit here we had some imperfections over here okay before after on this area we actually have some of the bright spots that i would like to treat with darkening so i'm switching the layer to burn and trying to paint a little bit over this darker spots just like this then moving on to another areas and painting so i'll be talking a little bit of my personal experiences because what you can see it's basically very soft uh, painting so few mistakes uh, that people do during Dutch and burn and uh, it's actually probably fault of some um, educational videos as well um, so one thing I already mentioned is uh, don't press too strong uh, second of all this is portrait and actually most of the people do portraits and uh, not beauty images and many people try to do um, retouch that is for beauty images on their portrait images so what happens then uh, they overdo the image and also they waste a lot of time so like you don't want to do too much of the dutch and burn on your portrait image this is portrait image if you want to learn um, beauty so more advanced things in my courses also you get a lot of informations so remember to not overdo uh, the other mistake that people do is also something i mentioned uh, brush size is too small and because of this people waste a lot of time on trying to retouch the pores that takes a lot of time it's not that visible and only one thing that it does it actually destroying the image uh, because you simply overdoing it uh, the pores meant to visit visible and if the pores are actually too harsh uh, what you meant to do uh, you can try to soften them with a soft edged uh, clone stamp or things like that few more things a little bit here you can see i'm also trying to paint a little bit around this triangle here to make this area pop as you can see my photoshop a little bit lagging when it's happening like to open the bridge and go back a little bit more on the nose and this is how it basically looks like so i'm not going to do all image uh, i would have to waste probably uh, five more minutes to it do a little bit of the forehead and pay attention if it's done correctly uh, but don't want to waste too much of the time 
and the main purpose is to give you good information like what is touch and burn retouching because many people don't actually know and I had people getting into Dutch and burn courses and complaining that uh, they thought Dutch and burn is basically improving the contrasts um, so this is not professional retouching uh, Dutch and burn retouching is technique used in professional retouching exactly the thing I'm showing you right now uh, we have other part of the face to do as you can see we were not paying attention to this side yet so a little bit more here and we can see uh, right now I'm going to put these layers to the group command or control G before after uh, small small workflow uh, not too much work done as you can see image look completely different before after especially around here we had most of the imperfections uh, I can see a little bit more here because we have this tiny shadow that is not really necessary here don't don't see anything that's giving this shadow so can slightly even this area out and that's how you work and Dutch and burn is really great because you can also use it for eyes if needed I would increase the flow paint a little bit here to give the extra punch to the eyes or you can just create new layer for the eyes but Dutch and burn most powerful technique for uh, retouching the images using curves probably most powerful adjustment layers to work with lights Thank you for watching. Once again, make sure you visit my website, check my courses if you actually want to get into retouching. And if you're a photographer that struggles with retouching, these courses will help you a lot. Thank you and see you in the next video.